And welcome back. Well, in the intervening time since the last episode, I've uh, learned from Hypno exactly what it was that I had missed in this thing. And that is that this topmost layer of this thing, with the pistons and the fences, and the, uh, yeah, with the pistons and the fences and the redstone and so on, this whole thing needs to be two blocks higher to allow room for any mobs that happen to fall through. Otherwise, they could simply get caught in the pistons, and that could end up causing the thing to start losing efficiency, shut down, not work right, and so on. So, rather than just tear it apart, what I'm thinking to do is... Ugh. What I'm thinking to do is to use piston to move this thing up a block. And something like this. Let's put a block in there. Move it up two blocks. Take the two spacer blocks out. And then move the piston over a block and do it again. A little bit time consuming and a little bit of a pain in the butt, however, it will result in this thing working better and that's worthwhile and I would rather frankly do it now than to figure out it needed to be redone that way sometime later on after it was all constructed Oh, yes. And just simply to avoid a problem, I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is to go up in here and remove all of the water from this thing temporarily. Besides which, once I move the block that the, pist that the signs are attached to, if I'm not mistaken, they're going to, all the signs will fall off and uh, there will be a huge water mess and even if that doesn't happen the blocks that the water is up, up against will have a problem and cause a huge water mess. So I'm going to remove all the water from this thing and get the whole thing moved up two blocks and then we'll go from there. All right. I've got the area moved up and the thing reconstructed a little bit. I decided to change the sides out and go ahead and put glass in there just for the heck of it. And this arrangement is now, as far as I can tell, pretty much what uh, Hypno showed in his uh, proof of concept video, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it's not exactly a tutorial, but in any event, it's all set up. The water is in place, the signs are there, there's a source block here for any mobs to get through. Any mobs that get through will stop there and drown in that and so on. And right now it's pretty much time to build the sides of this thing up and get to work on getting the, the sides built up about uh, 24 blocks or so and then from that height or at that height or just above it will be the lava ah. that one I didn't 
didn't intend. Yeah, about 24 blocks up from here, there will be lava that the mobs will fall through on their way down. Hmm. Yeah. And then about, I think it was about 15 blocks or so up from that, is where the first spawning floors will be. And the whole thing will be shaped in such a way that everything that falls out will fit nicely into this area where the fences are. And that'll be about it, I think. It's just a matter of getting it all done. A bunch of lava will be needed and a boatload of signs both to hold up the lava and to go in the spawning areas where they can to convince the mobs to walk off of it. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring the sides of this thing up 24 blocks and we can go to the next step from there. Well, you may wonder what I'm doing here in the middle of snow country when last you saw I was working on the mob trap. Well, I ran out of glass. So, I went through the nether and back to the country estate and I decided to head somewhat southeast of there to a desert that's nearby there and mine up some sand to make more glass. And in the doing so, I have managed to become thoroughly and completely lost. I have no real idea where I am, except that I think that going north by northwest in this direction will get me back to where I belong. but I don't know for certain. All I know is that I have to keep going and that sooner or later if I'm going in the right direction I should manage to find something that hooks me back up with where I need to be. It's a little bit frustrating because I'm running on normal render distance and that's lagging like crazy. I would switch to short, but if I'm on short render, I can't see the sky or the sun to get my direction. And now, I'm traveling across the water. If you can call this step and lag, step and lag traveling. We'll see. I'm going to continue in this direction for a while, and I'll check in when I have an idea where I am. Or something happens. Oh yes, I'm sure somebody out there is suggesting that I use F3 to get coordinates and navigate that way. And I would, except for F3 is kind of useless to me right now. If I could turn the lagometer off, then sure. Hopefully I'm not progressing out into an ocean. We'll find out. Alright, alright. I, I have now progressed, progressed quite, a quite, a ways. quite a ways. Several hundred Several blocks, hundred blocks at, least. at least. And, and I'm at the I'm last, at the last little little bit of land, bit of land before, before a large, large, large body of water may, or may, not, may, be may not be an ocean. I have no idea, no idea. And, and I have not I seen, have not the, first seen the first clue about, about 
anything that anything would give me an would idea, give me an idea of the right direction, right direction to, go. to go. So, so I've decided I'm going to stop around, around, around here. I'm going to cut three or two. Three or two. I'm going to I'm set going up to a set up miniature, miniature temporary, temporary base. I'm going to I'm dig, going down, dig down. Dig myself some myself redstone. Some redstone. Some iron. Some iron. Compass. Compass. Obviously, of course, of course, I never have gone never anywhere, gone without, anywhere the without the compass in the first place. In the first place. But having done but having that, done that I will then be able, then to, be able least, to at least find my way find back, my way back to, to original, spawn at the main base. Main base. From there, from there, I won't be lost, won't any be lost anymore. So, so. That's my, that's plan, my plan, plan for now. And I'm going to get after this, get after while, this. I, while I... Tools are still good enough, 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 enough to dig, for a, to dig for a little while. And I think I'm going to do something else, something too. else too. Enough of this, enough of this normal render normal distance. Render distance. Obvious, obviously, pain, pain. So I'll switch back, switch short, back. short, and be able and to be at least, able to move, at least without move without stuttering, stuttering lag. lag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up, set up and, and start, and start digging. digging. Well, 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 not right there, not where right the there where the water is. is but I guess right I guess here right is here just as place as any. As any. Need for ladders. For ladders. This is going to be, be a staircase, staircase, staircase dig. I'm not. I'm not particularly, not particularly fond of that. Fond of but, that. But, but it'll do. It'll do. I don't particularly I don't like particularly staircase, like staircase, staircase dig. Take so much take longer. So much longer. Check in, I'll check in when I've gotten something, gotten accomplished. something accomplished. All right. I have made a little bit of progress. I've gotten down here quite a ways. Along the while, I've uh, managed to fill my inventory pretty much. I've come up with a bunch of iron and some coal, so I won't be lacking for torches. I also seem to have some snowballs that I'm going to ditch up here. pick up that cobble instead. And I've broken into a cave. Oh, gold. I'll take that. If I can think of something to ditch. Sure, I'll ditch the gravel. So, I am in an underground cave here. See if I can possibly come up with some redstone down here. And then all I have to do is smelt up the iron and I can make a compass and find my way back to where I belong. And I think what I'm looking for is going to be down rather than up. So, we clear that water out, make a little staircase here, try to light the pathway up, and proceed to explore down. Well, there's lava. More iron, lava, and obsidian. All right. But 
but still not yet any clues about redstone. No sign of it yet. If I were to guess, I'd say that creeper needs to be dealt with. Nice of him to stand still like that. It makes aim so much easier. Uh-oh. There's another one. And this guy blew up. Okay, then he... Oh, crap. Damn. Alright. Well, he showed me where the redstone was. Now I'll throw some torches down here real quick. And I'm going to blockade this because they seem to be coming from back here. And frankly, I'm not in the mood. And I'm going to blockade this too. This might be a place to explore at some point, but right now, all we want is some redstone to combine with the iron once it is smelted. And craft a new compass and head for home. Alright, what do I get rid of? Oh, the short stack of sand. Actually, I have enough of what I need. It's time to get out of here while I can still find the way. Okay. This iron is too easy to resist. Head for the stairway and go on up. Okay. This area is a good place to get things done. Okay, first I will need a furnace. melt up that iron. Three coal will take care of that. And I think in this instance, whatever redstone I don't use, I'm just gonna leave. Oh, I don't know. I'll just build a chest and leave anything I don't need right now or can't carry right down here. 
mark the entryway with torches, and maybe someday I'll come by here again. Uh. Okay, there's the floor I need for that. I'm going to wait and take this iron with me. And, uh, like I said, I'll leave torches up at the entrance. Speaking of which, I will go ahead and make up as many as I can. And when the iron is finished smelting, I'll be headed back up, following the compass back to where I belong, which is that way. catch it a bit. All right. Iron is done smelting. I have... I'm going to have to put the uh, leftover redstone in there along with that dirt and this part of cobblestone. I'll keep a stack of cobble with me and the planks. I'm going to leave the furnace and workbench here. And... Then I'm going to wait out the night, and when sunrise comes, it's time to leave and head for home. All right, I decided that uh, instead of just standing around waiting for the night, uh, I would dip back down into the cave for a few minutes and mine up enough iron and a little bit more coal to go ahead and replace my armor, which is in pretty sad shape. And now it is early morning. It's time to get moving. And it's snowing. Oh goody. Alright, this is where we need to go. It may be a really long walk back to the main base, or perhaps I will intercept a track that goes back to the country estate. Either way, it'll put me back where I belong. It'll just be a roundabout way of getting there. And now, unless something significant happens along the way, I will check in when I get where I'm going. Well, let me turn the sound down here. I've had an interesting day. I have traveled all day following the compass towards spawn the whole time. And through all of that time until just now, I've been in snow country. Frozen rivers and all that good stuff. And now at the end of the first day of travel, I find myself coming into a swamp that, to my recollection, shouldn't be here. Because... I know I was somewhere off on the other side of the country estate and going this way towards the main base I should have either seen the country estate the track heading there which I haven't or the snow would have given way to plains grassy plains and that would give way to a small body of water that I could cross and find myself back at the main base. And as you can see, to whatever extent you can see in this dark, that is not the case. So now I'm going to wait out the night before proceeding. I've made myself one of these one-by-one -one pillars to wait the night out on so I could see what little there is to see. And I will proceed on in the morning, at which time it will probably still be raining, because I don't have a bed to take care of that. What fun! Well, I do believe there is definitely something wrong somewhere. Because you can see by the compass that spawn is that way. The sun is rising there. 
Now, the country estate is about 900 blocks east towards the sunrise from the main base. And yet, the sun is there and the main base is that way. Coming from the general direction of the country estate and the area surrounding it, headed for the main base, the sun should be rising behind me, and it's not. So, something is definitely not right. I don't know what it is, but there is definitely something wrong somewhere. But, at the moment, there is nothing else I can do but to continue following the compass. And getting rid of this zombie. And so on. So, and frankly, it looks like it might be an idea to stop and build a boat if this water thing is going to continue for very long, and it looks like it is. So I'm going to stop over here and cut a tree, build a boat. And as much as I would like to decapitate the Enderman over there, I will refrain for the time being because getting back to where I belong is slightly more important. And I can see I'm going to have to lose something out of the inventory so I can pick up... Oh, okay. There. All right. Oh, well, gee, I had a bunch of planks. Oh, well. Never hurts to have some more, I guess. I'm just going to drop a couple of torches over here, and I'm going to leave that workbench right there. All right, now we head out of the swamp into what looks like open ocean. Set course by the compass to the main base and see what we come up against. See about going around this patch of land here. It looks like I'm going to be able to go around it. Yes. Or not. Okay. We're back to traveling on land. At least this looks like the right kind of terrain, but I don't like the fact that the sun rose in the wrong direction relative to me. But we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and follow this compass and see where I get.
well. And creepers to welcome me. How about that? I think I will just sort of go around them. It means swimming a little bit more, and yes, that's annoying, but that's all right. Okay, I see a track. That's a good sign. Alright, it should be fairly uneventful from here out. I'm just going to follow this thing back. And then when I get to the main base, presumably that's where I'm going. Yes, it is. Here we are. We have arrived. All right. Now I'm just going to go in there and hop a minecart back to the country estate and use the portal to get back to the ocean outpost and get some construction done.